Welcome to looking at the markets. I want to show you the stocks that I'll be looking at for the coming week. These are daily candlestick charts provided by finviz.com. I want to start with SPCE stock. And if you believe in space tourism uh, as a private industry, this could be a good one. It's definitely down. And SPCE stock bounced almost exactly off of $3. That's really interesting. And yes, it's a downward trending channel. I do see that. But it's low. And if you believe in buy low and hopefully sell higher, uh, this could be a good one for the long term. So uh, SPCE stock, interesting. Uh, USB, which is US Bancorp. It's an American regional bank. And this one bounced off of 33, give or take. And uh, yes, there was a banking crisis with regional banks. Maybe there still is. But if you believe it's going to rebound the sector generally and US Bancorp in particular, this could be a good one. Uh, it's been as high as looks like the mid 50s so there's some potential here and it seems to be bottoming out I mean it's it's not still falling like a rock like it was over here so that's uh, a possibility there charge point CHPT uh, some people ask me about cheaper stocks because they don't have huge portfolios huge accounts so this is not that expensive uh, eight dollars and change and it's been down to this level before had a nice bounce off of there uh, at the beginning of the year bounced up to 1350 or so and now it's back into the eights so there's potential here could go up back to 20 possibly in the long term just be aware of the risks of uh, clean energy uh, types of stocks this is an emerging technology batteries for vehicles that kind of thing uh, also in the clean energy space plug power PLUG stock hydrogen that kind of thing fuel cells and this one, yes, it's a falling wedge. I see that narrowing price action and going down, but it's at the bottom of the of the uh, the wedge there in the nines. And if you wanted it low, you got it. It's low. It used to be 30 or in the 30s. So there's multi-bagger potential, possibly, uh, but there's also risk. It could keep going down as all these could. So you want to make your own decisions, do your own due diligence. But this one, it's looking pretty interesting. If you've been waiting around for plug power stock to go down it did Macy's stock M is the ticker symbol rising support level and it, it came down to it recently so this one's interesting uh, below 20 below 18 could go as high as 25 hey that's not bad I'll take it if it gets there uh, I think I'm gonna be patient I'll definitely be patient and wait until it gets at least to 16 or 15 even better because it's been there before on this chart and it had a nice bounce off of there uh, JD.com stock. JD is the ticker symbol. Uh, an e-commerce, uh, chi China-based e-commerce type of stock, and it seems to be at a support level, more or less. More or less, excuse me. Uh, in the 30s here, yeah, and it's been as high as 65, almost 70 is the support uh, or resistance level. Is in the 67, 68 range. Be aware of that. Not a bad place to take profits if it gets there. But yeah, it's in the 30s. If you've been waiting for this to come down, it's down. So if you have an idea, a belief that the uh, Chinese economy could rebound and e-commerce could rebound, that could be it. JD stock, maybe. AAL, American Airlines, came down on earnings, but came down to a support level almost exactly. And this has numerous data points on this rising support level here. Yeah, not bad. I would say this is my pick of the week if I had to pick one. Yeah, AAL, American Airlines stock. I like where it is. Could go back to 18 possibly. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad profit if it if it gets there. And aluminum company, uh, Alcoa, AA is the stock ticker symbol. Around 40 is not a bad level. Seems to be holding it pretty nicely. I'm going to be patient. Wait until 35, but that's just me. If you want to start scaling in in the 40s or so, it's not a bad way to go. All right, so AAL stock would be my, my number one pick for this week. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, so there's a lot of risk in all of these. You know, there aren't any really mega, mega caps today. I didn't put Apple or Microsoft or anything like that in there. Uh, so be aware of the risk and reward potential and be safe out there, folks. All right, I will talk to you again soon. Thank you very much.